what is the difference between international trade and international finance so both international trade and international finance are two parts of economics international economics is classified in fact into two international trade and in finance while uh, international uh, trade is microeconomic in nature uh, finance is microeconomic in nature uh, microeconomic theories principles and techniques are applied in interna international trade uh, the macroeconomic concepts principles and theories are applied or will be applied uh, uh, in international finance international finance international trade includes uh, the trade uh, theory and policy uh, at the same time international finance includes mainly uh, balance of payments and foreign exchange uh, it includes uh, balance of payment transactions balance of payment account uh, balance of payment equilibrium balance of payment disequilibrium uh, the measures to correct the bop's disequilibrium uh, both deliberate and automatic measures to correct the bop's disequilibrium uh, all these will be taken into consideration in international finance the currency convertibility exchange rate exchange rate determination theories um, uh, foreign exchange market for various transactions and its features in international in foreign exchange market. Um, international currency foreign currency difference between the two uh, the expenditure changing policy expenditure switching policy various approaches to study the effect of devaluation or expenditure switching policy on the trade balance of the nation how and when the trade balance will be improved when a nation adopt expenditure switching policy of devaluation uh, or revaluation uh, so these um uh, all, these are all will be uh, taught in uh, international finance furthermore the uh, past and present international monetary system featured with the uh, uh, presence of uh, britain wood uh, system gold standard system and thereafter the flexible exchange rate system managed the floating exchange rate system that present uh, presently india adopt this uh, india has a Uh, this managed floating exchange rate system and uh, and various other exchange rate systems like hybrid exchange rate system dual exchange rate system uh, all these will be uh, taken in, into consideration for the uh, discussion uh, in international finance overall international finance uh, is part of the uh, financial uh, part of the international trade Uh, it deals with uh, how um, is import uh, is how is financed uh, how do we get uh, received uh, for, for how do we get uh, the the payments uh, um, or how do we get the transfers and how do we pay the transfers and how will it be recorded in the official account or balance of payment account and 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 what type of uh, transactions are credited uh, in the bop's account and what type of transactions are debited in the uh, balance of payment account all these will be uh, taken into consideration and while uh, discussing the exchange rate the nominal exchange rate is there nominal effective exchange rate is there nominal uh, real effective exchange rate is there all these are relevant for the students of uh, economics Uh, the, uh, regarding the exchange rate determination theories we will study uh, monetary asset market approach uh, purchasing per parity uh, theory uh, purchasing per parity theory uh, takes uh, two versions of uh, absolute version and the relative version and uh, and while uh, we study the purchasing per parity theory the law of one price will be discussed and and we Uh, have to be uh, updated always when we study the purchasing probability theory uh, uh, and uh, in case you uh, hear the news uh, regarding the gross domestic product or gross domestic product per capita of uh, of the nations uh, the uh, when you take the data for india uh, india india's per cap uh, as per the world bank data um, india's gdp per capita on purchasing per parity basis will be greater than that of the nominal basis uh, the, this is because the um, because the purchasing per parity of indian rupee 
uh, is greater than that of the US dollar. Uh, so uh, as per the current data shown uh, given in the World Bank online data portal for the data uh, in uh, 2019 India's GDP per capita uh, on purchasing per parity basis was around $7,000. It's closer to uh, $7,000. It's uh, the real figure is $6,900 uh, dollar per person on purchasing per parity basis. But the uh, but the nominal uh, actual um, GDP per capita data of India uh, for 2019 was uh, just $2,100. So that, that means uh, one Indian rupee uh, is closer to that of three uh, times greater on, in terms of uh, purchasing per parity uh, when we um, consider the United States. So the purchasing per parity, uh, purchasing, per, purchasing power parity, the uh, currencies uh, is relevant uh, while discussing the, while discussing the uh, strength of the currency and welfare of the people uh, so all these will be studied will be taught will be discussed in international finance